Hey y'all, welcome back to Movement Link. So I wanna talk about the bar muscle up and just the weight shift that needs to happen in the bar muscle up. We talk about it in the ring muscle up and in most of these things, when we're watching people in slow motion, what we see is people are trying to pull up and over and they're leaving their lower half on that side. So what I'd like to have people do is look at what that position needs to look like when they're on top of the bar. So as I'm on top of the bar, my hips are back, my wrist is on top. When I'm under the bar in that kip, my hips are forward, my wrists are below the bar. So a big part of this transition, it's not just about pulling and pressing into the transition. We gotta get your weight on the other side of the bar and we gotta get those wrists up on top of the bar. So always, you can always look at these different positions and you wanna look at kind of the start and finish and then look at what we need to change. But a super common mistake we see is people kip up, they leave their hips there and their legs actually go higher as they try and get on top of the bar and they just have no chance where here, if I just shift the weight back, they're on top. So, so many people out there trying to get that first bar muscle up or they're trying to string and get from two to three up to 10. And it can happen real fast once you start understanding how powerful this shift in weight can be. Uh, so you can always film yourself. It's a super easy one to see. And when, if you hit a fail rep, when you fail, look at where those hips are. Look at where the wrists are. And almost always they're stuck on this side or below that bar. Hope that helps. Talk to y'all soon.